Well, hello, here we are again with the Psalm cast, this time Psalm 15, and it's a juicy one. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Lord, who may dwell in your sanctuary? Who may live on your holy hill? One whose walk is blameless, who does what is righteous, and speaks the truth from their heart. And one who has no slander on their tongue. One who does his neighbor no wrong and casts no slur on their fellow man or fellow human being. Who despises a vile person but honors those who fear the Lord. Who keeps their oath even when it hurts. Who lends their money without usury and does not accept a bribe against the innocent. They who do those things will never be shaken. That's the end of the reading of the psalm, and it really does follow on with what we saw with Psalm 14. So Psalm 14, as you recall, uh, talked about those who were corrupt and said that those people who were corrupt were without God, therefore outside of the bounds of the pale. And the comment that I had was, don't be so quick to judge people um, by virtue of whether they profess a faith in God or not. It is by good works that we know a person, not by what they proclaim. Here we have a much more specific description of the kinds of behaviors that we expect of a person who is being faithful to the teachings of God, the teachings of love. So you speak the truth. There's a prohibition against slander. There's a prohibition against doing wrong against neighbors. Those who honor those who fear God and those who keep their oath even when it hurts. These are the markers of integrity and they are markers of a person who is living a life that is grounded in the God of love and justice and a God who tends to keep peace and to spread hope and compassion for the world. By your fruits, by their fruits you shall know them, by your fruits you shall know us. That is the teaching for me of that psalm. Don't accept a bribe against the innocent. A lot of these are kinds of prohibitions that people in authority face and those kinds of situations. So there's some setting for David to be very specific in teaching his own followers and his own close circle who are likely to be his officials to follow through on that. Good reminders for the rest of us that it is by our fruits that we shall know and be known. Those are a couple of thoughts on Psalm 15. And um, let's go ahead and have a prayer. Holy Spirit, help us to make right actions, to make good choices, to make sure that we are constantly aware of how we are being seen as people who follow your path. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That's the Psalm cast for Psalm 15. I hope to see you next time for Psalm 16. We'll catch you around. Be blessed and be a blessing.